hello today i'm going to talk about del statements and where to use this del statement and it is like some type of alternative for removing certain variables or it can be a class variable so i'm going to talk about this del statement so let's have this python file and in this program i'm going to use this del statement and uh, before talking about this del statement this del statement is actually a keyword and to know about that you can use this help and and right here i'm going to use these keywords to check the list of keywords in this python so here is the list of python keywords so all these are keywords and right here i am having this del statement and to know about this del statement you can directly write its keyword name like del and after that you are going to get some important information about this del statement like some type of statement about this del statement so how to use that how to use this del statement with certain syntax and i am having certain words like deletion and it is going to remove certain things it can be a variable and that variable can be having certain value or that variable can also have a class name or so let us have certain example to understand about this del statement let us have some variable so this variable is going to store some value or it can be a string type a string type that is value and let us print this variable and after that i am going to delete this variable and after using this statement let us print this variable again whether this keyword is going to delete this thing or not let us check that and because of that i have used this statement after using that i need to check whether this variable is having this value or not in other words is this variable is defined after using this statement so i need to check that so i'm going to print this variable again so let us check this value twice so at first time i have this value and after using this statement this results this error so i'm going to get this name error because i have used this del statement so because of that this is this keyword has deleted this variable so you are not going to use that variable right here after this statement so i'm going to get this error so this is one best example to understand about this del statement and let us have some more examples like you suppose i am having a variable and if this variable is going to call some class i am going to create this class and let's create this class so this c is a class and this class doesn't have any type of methods inside this class it can be a constructor or a static method or a class method so all these methods are not defined so i'm just providing this statement and so this variable is having this class and so this is because i have provided these brackets and right now let's let us print this variable and after that let us use this tell statement for this variable and so after deleting this variable let us print this variable again to check whether i am going to use this variable or not so let's check this value so at first line i am having something and that something is quite important because it is saying that 
this variable is having a class name C and its object is at this address and what is this main so to know about this let us have this class right here and let us make this as a multi-line comment and right now to know about this main let us remove all of this and let us print this name of this program so I'm getting this name as a main so this is because you know I'm going to run this program and this program is actually is having a name that is a main if suppose I'm having some different file and I'm going to use this Python file as a module and if suppose I'm going to import this code one so this is the Python file name and so I can actually import because this file is present in the same directory and after doing that let us run this program so now I'm having this name so this is actually a name of this module and when you are going to run this module program you are actually going to get this main so that is about this main if you are going to run the python file or a module you are going to get this main for that main and if you are going to use this, some another python file as a module and if that module like this that is code1.py is having this type of name and if you are going to import that module which is having this statement you are going to get this module name so that is about this name and this main and I have talked about this name and the main better in some previous video so this is about the class so now let's understand about let us have some list and if suppose this list is having some elements I'm going to use a for loop to create some elements inside this list so let us start from this 11 and let us stop at a value 20 so you need to increment with a value 1 because I need to stop at a value 20 so you need to provide a value 21 and after that at first let us print this list to check all the elements present inside this list so I am having these elements starting from a value 11 and stops at a value 20 so I am having all these elements inside this list and now let us use some more statements like if suppose I'm, I need to have certain value at a index 3 so this is the index 3 so index 3 is having this value so I can able to get that value so this is because right here index starts from a value 0 and if this is 0 this index is 1 and this index is 2 and finally this index is 3 so I'm getting that element and what if you want to start from certain index stops at some higher index so you can also do that and if so, right here I'm going to start from index 3 and I'm going to stop at index 8 so you need to increment by 1 
if you want to stop at at index 8 you need to increment by 1 so I have provided a value 9 let us check this value so this index is 8 so this index is 3 so 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so I'm having these all elements and if suppose you are not providing this topping place or higher index you will get so by default it is going to stop at this last element and I'm having this thing and main thing here is it is starting from some index and what if you are not providing this index this starting index also so it is starting from this 11 and stops at this 20 and let us stop at set an index like a value an index 4 so I am having these many elements starting from index 0 to index 4 and so this place belongs to certain step so how much step you need to move forward from starting to this topping and right here I have not provided any starting place or starting index and a stopping index so by default it is going to start from a value 11 and stops at a value 20 and this place belongs to how much step we need to move forward starting from this starting index topping index so let us have a step as a 2 so now this index is 0 so I am having this 11 and after 2 steps I am having this element so I am getting that and from this 13 after moving 2 steps I am having 15 and again after two steps I am having 17 so it is going to keep on going until this final element and let us provide some starting index let it be 3 and an index 7 is this stopping index let's check this value so I am having that so right now let us use del statement let us use this del keyword to remove these elements and before that let us also print these elements so let us have this right here and after that let us print this list so at first this is the actual list and these are the elements I am going to remove and after using this statement I have this list which is not having these three elements so this is about this del statement so this is the actual del statement and this is the keyword and this is about how to remove certain elements inside this list it can be one or it can be many based on these type of operations like starting place stopping place and you can provide certain step right here so I have talked about this type of variables and we can also remove a class and not only that we can also remove certain elements inside this list so now we have certain methods for this class like we know this list is a class and this class does have certain methods like that methods are useful to remove certain elements inside a list and this is some other alternative to remove elements inside a list so at first let us print only this list 
so this is actually a class and not only that you can also check for tuple so this is also a class and even this set is a class so these three does have some methods and to know all these methods and their documents you can use this help and right here I'm going to have this I will have these methods like pop and this remove so this is quite helpful to remove certain elements from this set and this set is a class which have which is having some syntax too and methods defined here so all these are the methods so this is about this set and coming to this list so this class name is list and it is having certain index to create some list and after that we have these methods so all these are the methods and right there I am having some methods like a pop and this remove methods are useful to remove certain elements and this is for this list and this tuple don't have any type of methods to remove certain elements so this tuple is having certain methods and right here I'm not having any type of methods that is capable of removing some elements if suppose I'm having some list which is having some elements otherwise let it be tupper and right here I'm having this tupper which is having elements like A, B, C and D so I'm having four elements let us print this variable and after that I'm going to use this del statement of this tupper and let us print this tupper right here so I'm having four elements and after removing this tuple I'm not going to have any tuple right here so this is about this tuple which is entirely going to separate this single string into small values like a b c and d so I'm having four elements and this is also going to happen for this set so even this set is going to separate into single elements like having four elements and now I'm not having this type of variable so this is saying that so this result says that this tuple is not defined and you suppose I'm having certain variable you know this variable is not defined in this main program and let us print this variable and let us make this as a comment so I'm getting the same error so this means that you know we already know that this variable is not defined in this program and let us compare this and this because both these are actually having the same error but the main thing here is I'm going to delete this variable and below this statement I'm not going to have I'm I can't able to use this variable or I can't call this variable to print some value or use that value for several equations or mathematical operations so that is about this del statement and it is entirely going to remove this tuple and about this statement you can use this tuple and below this statement you can't able to use that tuple and you can also remove certain elements inside this list by using this del statement 
and you can also remove certain class variable so common thing common case right here is that there will be some variable and you are going to use this del of certain variable having certain value at this index so it is like you must at first place you need to have some variable and in second place you are going to use this del statement to remove that variable and that variable can be some type of list or that variable can be a class which is going to call this class or that variable can also be some type of value or a string or it can be some type of class which is having these elements so it is just going to target some variable where that variable is going to have some value so it is going to have some value so we are actually going to delete that so that's the simple thing and you can also get some information about this del statement so go to this document and and you can get right here about this del statement and right here I'm having certain document for this del and right here I'm having this del can also be used to delete entire variables and this means that a variable which is having these values and let us check whether this happens for different variables like if suppose I'm having some variable which is having a value and can we use this operation like like this let us check this and let us make this as a comment so I'm not getting any type of error let us check for this variable so now variable is not defined so you can directly provide many variables at this place to remove these many variables and you suppose I am having certain function which is having which is which is not having any type of statement can we provide this function name directly and after that can we use this function like you suppose I am having a variable and this is going to call this function and right here if suppose I want to print this variable function let us check that so name name of this function is not defined if suppose I'm removing this function in this del statement so now you can use so this function is going to return a value none so that value is going to store in this variable so I'm going to get that variable none and this variable is not defined because in del statement I'm having that variable and not only that you can have certain class right here class name C and this is also not going to have any methods and if suppose I'm having this class name right here make sure I'm not providing any type of bracket and I'm going to use this class let us check this thing and right here it is saying that this class so this is the class name and this is not defined so by using this we can say that this can be a function or it can be a class and if suppose I'm not having this so now I'm having this class name and this object address 
so this is this del statement can remove variables and not only that this can remove a class or a function entirely below this statement so that is about this del statement and so that is also a keyword so that is for today and see you again bye bye